Good morning, students. How are you? I hope you had a, a nice, relaxing weekend. I hope you, some of you did the activities on Thursday and relaxed at the same time. I'd like to wish uh, Ramadan Karim to all of the students who are celebrating. And uh, this week we are starting with a new and reduced schedule. All right, um, so before I start talking about our day, um, I would like to say that um, I will be sharing a link with you. It's a survey. I hope you do remember survey from maths. We were talking about that in maths and other subjects. I'd like you to fill in a survey. I will share a, share a link on um, Class Dojo. Please fill it in. It's about your well-being in general. Um, and um, it's mandatory that everyone fills it in. Uh, second announcement is that we do have a reduced timetable now. Um, I posted it on Class Dojo yesterday. I took a picture of your first day. I will be able to share the rest of the timetable during the week, but for now it's just Sunday. So just focus on the Sunday's timetable today and um, everything should be fine. Right. Um, Right, so because we have reduced time, we also have to change the time for our meetings for on the, on the teams. So from now on, um, I would like to do it at 12.30. I hope that's okay with everyone. So please be there at 12.30. I will send you an invitation. Um, so 12.30. All right, great. So how does your day look today? Um, so basically, your first lesson is spelling. Guys, you know what to do in spelling. We decided not to do a video lesson for this lesson, so we allow you to have more time to do in, to actually do in the activities. You know what the activities are. There's no need for a video lesson. Please do note that you have one week to submit your spelling activities. If you don't manage to do them in those 40 minutes, please, you can submit them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever. Just make sure it's by Thursday. All right, then um, a second and third lesson, you will have to check your individual timetables. Uh, you will have Arabic, Islamic, and um, other subjects, UAE social studies. Um, my UAE social studies will move now, um, probably to Thursday. I will confirm this um, later on in the week, but I will post the UAE social studies on Sunday on a class dojo just to make sure it's accessible for everyone depending on because we all have it on different days and then your fourth and last lesson for today will be science uh, in science um, we are going to stop talking about teeth and digestive system and it's going to be focused on predators and prey in general animals and how um, the uh, food chain works in the nature all right, uh, you will have to submit spelling and I forgot to mention handwriting also. Um, please do know that you have one week, but I will put up the folders on Sunday. All right, thank you. Now, um, oh yeah, and I forgot to say that at one o'clock between 1 and 1.30, you will have dear time, drop everything and read. So please, between 1 and 1.30, make sure you do your reading. You can use Myon, you can use Accelerated Reader. If you don't want to use the two, uh, please read your own book. However, of course, I would prefer that you read on Myon and Accelerated Reader. So use those 30 minutes for reading. All right, when it comes to our riddles, um, so what is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Uh, most of you, uh, I've only had 13 comments though, uh, what I'm really not happy about that. That means only 13 of my students actually watch this video. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not happy about the numbers. Those who watched it, thank you so much. We had Celine, Anya, Samiha, Saif, Ira, Anahita, Zoheib, Shaheen, Ryan, uh, Mohammed, uh, Patrick, Hayden and Simra watching this video. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. It's for your own good to watch this video because it gives you an introduction to the day, right? Okay, so um, yeah, so all of you actually uh, said the right answer. It was silence. Silence is um, 
a fragile thing, but if you actually pronounce its name silence, it will break the actual silence. All right, your riddle for today is how can a leopard change its spots? Okay, once again, how can a leopard change its spots? Please leave me a comment under the Class Dojo post. Um, looking forward to reading it. Okay, um, for the rest of this video, I have uh, interesting facts for you. Sit back, uh, enjoy, and listen. All right, today's, um, sorry, hair in my mouth. Um, today's interesting facts will be about tigers. So, the tiger is the biggest species of the cat family. Tigers can reach a length of up to 3.3 meters, okay, and weigh as much as 300 kilograms, okay? So, 3.3 meters, that's like a, a minivan, okay? I am 1.8, so it's like a double size of me, that's like massive. And 300 kilograms, that's really a lot. So you need to try to compare it to how much you weigh. So how much is 300 kilograms? Subspecies of the tiger include the Sumatran tiger, Siberian tiger, Bengal tiger, South China tiger, Malayan tiger, and uh, Indo-Chinese tiger. Many subspecies of the tiger are either endangered or already extinct. Humans are the primary cause of this through hunting and the destruction of habitats, unfortunately. Around half of tiger cubs don't live beyond two years of age. Um, tiger cubs leave their mother when they are around two years of age. A group of tigers is known as ambush or streak. Um, tigers are good swimmers and can swim up to six kilometers. Wow. Rare white tigers carry a gene that is only present in around one in every 10,000 tigers. Tigers usually hunt alone at nighttime. Tigers have been known to reach speeds up to 65 kilometers per hour. Uh, less than 10% of hunts end successfully for tigers. Um, so when they go ha hunting, so out of 100%, only 10% of time, they are successful. So that's not really much. Tigers can easily jump over five meters in length. Can you imagine? And the various tiger subspecies are the national animals of Bangladesh, India, North Korea, South Korea, and Malaysia. There are more tigers held privately as pets than there are in the world. Sorry, there are more tigers held privately as pets than there are in the wild. So can you imagine there are more tigers uh, kept in captivity in the zoos and some people have them in their houses, which is really dangerous. But more tigers live uh, in captivity, uh, captured by humans than in the actual wild, which is really sad. Tigers can breed with lions and give birth to hybrids known as tigons or ligers. Uh, that must be pretty cute. Anyway, um, thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. Uh, see you today at 12.30 on Teams.